Hello. Welcome back. Uh, I just want to share an idea uh, for the, the Newman motor. Uh, because it is uh, well known that it is running of volts and not of amps, uh, are we able also to step up this fault to really high voltages and yeah, run with that and with a low input. So uh, here I have a nice example uh, of a step-up uh, converter for uh, DC to DC. Uh, what it does, this uh, circuit is it makes uh, from uh, in this case from a four uh, volt battery, uh, it makes an oscillation. Um, here in uh, this oscillation part, like uh, you can see here, two transistors, some resistors, and this makes an oscillation. Um, in this case, it uh, makes uh, 30 kilohertz, uh, and then it goes to this uh, cassettes. And yeah, this theory is well known by it uh, by doubling voltage, and uh, this um, this cassette is uh, capable of making from 4.5 uh, or 60 volt. Um, these are polar caps. Um, in this case, rated to uh, 30 uh, one uh, one UF. Uh, one microfarad and uh, 63 volts. Uh, this is scalable, so we don't have to hold on something. We can uh, make a very strong version of this with uh, uh, the uh, 30, 50, 55 uh, transistors. Um, yeah. just run into this so yeah maybe it's an idea well maybe uh, I know for sure this is gonna work uh, so um, we don't need uh, more batteries or anything like that we just step up this voltage to uh, bigger voltage um, if you want to work uh, with higher voltages than uh, than than 60 volt and uh, 4.5 and you really have to uh, uh, be sure that your uh, capacitors and diodes uh, can cover that um, yeah let me know if uh, anybody starts to do this and uh, we can share some information um, here I have a block diagram of it. This is how it looks like in a picture form. And this is scope. And I have some more information on it. Yeah. Uh, this is a doubler, so with this you get already a uh, double, uh, three double, and four times. So, and this is then yeah you have to give uh, AC. So if you don't want to run off batteries, you can also take an AC adapter of nine volt or something like that or ten volt, twelve and then just hook it up directly to these uh, LEDs and then you have here uh, a pluses and a minus um, yeah okay for anyone that wants to build uh, let me know and uh, let's see if we can spin this thing faster because yeah we are not using any amps uh, just show you again uh, my motor is spinning now already for three days now. Um, just doesn't change speed. Um, 
and because yeah the the the, the ball bearings are nice uh, nice uh, running already for three days at least even using uh, last time it's now using eight eighty milliamps uh, on a fifteen volt and also this doesn't change if I put it here the next morning it's still here and uh, the same thing for the scope uh, that means the speed stays the same and all these things but um, yeah I really want to ch uh, try this uh, thing I think this will be uh, very very uh, beneficial to uh, get this uh, electric engine uh, because uh, I want to change that uh, word of motor because an electric motor that we uh, know now is really inefficient and uh, um, this motor is more compared to uh, an engine so let's call it uh, in the future an engine